Continue. Oh, okay. We're back in the mom's room. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty nice room, if I do say so myself, right? Like, kind of reminds me of Blanche Devereaux's room from Golden Girls. <laughs> from Golden Girls. Just the curtains. Like the curtains remind me of the wallpaper that she has. Do you think we're hunting the ghosts of the Golden Girls? I wish. That would be upsetting, actually. <laughs> I mean, like, you wouldn't be getting along so easily if we were fighting the ghosts of the yeah, Golden Girls. Yeah, if I had to suck up B. Arthur's ghost, she just, mm. she would just grab me by my ankles and throw me around the room. B. Arthur would make the most terrifying ghost, I'm yeah. telling you right now. Oh, God, anyway, yeah. Should we, we should, like, sit down and watch all of the Golden Girls. I know you have seen, like, Pretty most, much every episode. Yeah. yeah. Do you own the whole series? No, I don't own the whole series. I own... <laughs> I own seasons, I think, one, two, three, and six... <laughs> the gifts or something like, it's just like yeah like i got like i got so many one year for christmas and then the next christmas um my relatives like didn't know which ones i had and didn't have so like the one relative just went really 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 far back just went ham as fuck yeah it was just like oh well like she doesn't have the last season so whatever <laughs> here's this one and truthfully it's not like it's not like the golden girls is like a continuous show right like a continuous yeah, storyline it's, it's yeah. episodic so like it really doesn't matter that's true are there any seasons of the Golden Girls considered weaker than other seasons? Probably. Right. Um, I certainly don't really care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't notice it. I think it's pretty consecutive all the way through. For pretty what it's worth. You mean? Like, yes, yeah, sorry, yeah. consistent. Yeah, um, right. Is this baby like the hardest fucking he's ghost? The, he's the go. He's the the first boss ghost. Wow. Um. No, like, there are things about the Golden Girls, I mean, like, and uh, this could be said for all television at the time, really, where, like, I don't know, like, the same actors show up and play different, like, completely different people. Oh, really? Sometimes, yeah. Like, th there's an actor who has a small arc, his name is Miles, he's Blanche's, or sorry, Rose's very serious boyfriend for okay. and Blanche quite is... some time. Rose, I mean, Rose is Betty White's character. Rose is Betty White's character, okay. Um, he's Rose's serious boyfriend for quite some time, and he, like, shows up in, like, an earlier season as somebody, like, just, just a one-off character, like a delivery guy or something like that. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you do, can't do that. Do you think that's just Marvel like... fucked that up for everybody. Yeah, you can't, if say. you're one thing in a universe, you're that thing forever. You can't just be something else. Do you think that, like, that's just the casting director maybe forgetting? Like, do you think that's what happened? I don't, yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, like, I don't think they paid that close attention to it back in the day. Right. Um, it's kind of like, yeah, I'll bring him on. He was good in that one episode. Yeah. But yeah, um... But as far as, like, whole seasons being weaker than others, like, I don't really... There's no, like, Office season 7 and 8 no. for, the, for, the, for the fucking Golden Girls? I don't Girls? think so. Not really. Yeah? No. Well, good. <laughs> Clearly they decided to end it at an appropriate time. It's also just, like, not really oh, that course. kind of show. Like, the people who originally watched the Golden Girls didn't watch it. Because, like, it's purely episodic. And, like, I was watching it one day, and I was really thinking about it, and I'm like... The way that they handle, like, entrances and exits and stuff like that, like... It's very theatrical. It is really, like, it's very theatery. Like, mm -hmm. I get a theater vibe from it, so I just don't hold it to the same bar that I do hold, like, The Office or something right. like that. Well, The Office is a workplace comedy, and The um, Golden Girls is a sitcom, right? Like, yeah. Like, in, in terms of definition. Yeah, I guess. Would you, I mean, like, do you oh, think you so could... I, I guess you can't really call The Office a sitcom. No, it, it's, it, it's well, the only reason I call it a workplace comedy like, is because that's what Wikipedia calls it. Yeah, yeah, but, like, workplace comedy... I feel like is a genre that exists within the realm of sitcoms. Yeah, it's like the, under the know? sitcom umbrella. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'd agree with that. Yeah, so I mean, it's comedy for television, right? Where you sit and there's calm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's, that's not what sitcom stands for. But um, what does sitcom stand for then? Situational comedy. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. That makes sense. Yeah. Because I, I guess that it, that's all it is. Yeah. The characters are presented with a situation. In, yeah, or like they're and they're, then comedy ensues. Yeah. The comedy takes place within a situation. I killed so that baby, by the way. In real Look life, I mean. Look at you. Look at you, baby <laughs> killer. Look at this baby killer. How did this baby die? I don't care. Oh, no, apparently he was born a ghost. Oh. That's like the lore. Like, he was like... Oh, so, like, the ghosts had sex and produced a yeah, baby ghost. They had, like, ectoplasm sex. Okay. And, like, birthed the fucking ghost baby. Curs, Luigi, okay. curs, it's Luigi. Like, it's like Luigi. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really good uh, fucking. Thank you. Uh, static sound. Static sound for like walkie talkies. Yeah. Did you ever have walkie talkies as a kid? I did, yeah. Um, Never worked properly. No. Also, the range on them is so short, there's like no point. Right. 
I remember when Stranger Things came out, I like texted oh, my friends and bullshit. I was like I was like, guys, we should get walkie talkies so we can talk to each other. And they were like, we have cell phones. It's like you were talking to us in a group chat right yeah. now. Like it's, it's, this is better. This like, is the improved version of a walkie talkie. And I was like, yeah, no, but like it's not like I don't know. It's just cool. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. The Stranger Things walkie talkies are horseshit. Like, there's no way they work. Yeah, there's that no well. fucking way they you work. You fucking kidding me? Like, they talk to each other like across town. Yeah, there's no, there's absolutely no way. Dustin in the third season gets a hold of the other crew when he's like, two hundred feet underground. Yeah, he's 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 in a he's in a like a six hundred foot cemented Russian like. Like army base, and it's somehow like, a signal pokes through. It's like no. It's like I couldn't. Get, I'm sorry. No. I couldn't no. get fucking LTE down here. You're telling me that your <laughs> goddamn fucking walkie talkie. I couldn't get. Yeah, I could not get 3G down here if I begged. Like it's not happening. You've taught a toddle of three ghosts. You've taught a toddle. 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 Sorry for that weird. So cut. so that baby's name is Chauncey. Chauncey, yeah. Chauncey what the a, ghost. What a bitch baby i'm telling daddy name right like oh father yeah <laughs> well, he, he lives in the mansion Chauncey. he lives in this fucking mansion yeah but that doesn't mean you have to like name your kid like a mansion kid name <laughs> is that a mansion kid name? yeah Chauncey? Chauncey. oh you're such a fucking mansion kid aren't you ben sean <laughs> ben sean oh sean sean the mansion kid mm-hmm so now that I have uh, the key from the kid's bedroom, mm -hmm. I can get past these goofy vines. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought that was like a like a thing that you wouldn't do until the end of the game. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm going to quickly talk to Toad here. Save this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Save that progress. So now this is area two. Okay. So the, the mansion is split up into different areas. There's only four areas. So this game is notoriously short. Um, there's only four areas, and if you're oh, like hello. me... and Yeah, he's, he's cute. I just leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh! Excuse me. I crushed that ghost rat. Pardon me. Pardon me, sir. I pardon, didn't realize. Pardon. Are you a part of the menagerie? Pardon. Ooh. I gotta show you more of um, Kroll Show, oh, specifically shit, 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 um, shit. Wheels Ontario. So oh, yeah. So fucking funny. That's a great bit. Even though it's kind of like, sometimes it's kind of annoying. I'm like, what do you think Canada does? Like, what, yeah. do, you, what do you think it's like living in Canada? I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe it's just a difference of opinion, but I love when people like think Canada is this, like, really exotic place. <laughs> like, where it's, like, yeah. it's, like, we're all weird and yeah. we fucking, we run on goddamn... I rolled my eyes so goddamn hard at this, like, part in season three of Big Mouth. Um, this isn't really a spoiler, but basically, like, Jay gets into a Canadian TV show. Amazing. And this, like, guy is, like, talking to this other guy and he's, and he's like, oh, you come in here with your what is it like your montreal eyes and your manitoba hips and i'm like what the fuck is that that's awesome what the fuck does that mean See, i love shit like that because it doesn't mean anything yeah and the writers definitely know it doesn't mean anything like they they mm -hmm. know that like obviously that's not a thing in it's like, canada it's baloney yeah you actually this is kind of cool you get to see what shy guys look like with other masks on oh little shy guy ghosts oh let me check this out they're actually really creepy these things are really scary Oh, they look like little, um... Little, uh... I guess, like, Ewoks when they have their hoods mm -hmm. up. You know? Like, or, um, like like the first time Luke encounters an Ewok in Star Wars, and little, he doesn't know what they are yet. What are they called? Um... Little... They're like the desert hooded things. You know what I'm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie? Yeah. What the fuck are those called? I think that's more accurate. That's what I'm actually talking where's, about, not the Ewoks. Where's fucking Shirk Boy when you need him? I know. You even know what these things are called. I know, I know. Get him on the horn. I mean, like... Brad, do, do you want to call Shirtboy Brad desperately right wants to be on this show, so like... Call him right now. <laughs> I swear to God, just call him. Oh my God, I wonder if he's at work. He's probably at work. Okay. He hasn't talked in the group chat all day. Well, if what he's if I at tried work, it? just call him. Be Special Brad. guest, Brad Shirk. Yeah. He'll be thrilled. Call him. Calling him. <laughs> he's going to be like, why is Sam calling me? What the <laughs> fuck is going on? Oh man, I hope this works. He's probably going to think something's wrong. Oh. Ah, I thought I got him. Oh, dude, pick up. Please. Dude, don't you, don't you, don't you dare not pick up in my time of need, dude. Yeah, yeah. There is no more appropriate time to ask you something. This is Star Wars trivia. <laughs> this is pressing. This is a pressing matter. He's gonna listen to this episode and be like, "Fuck!" I can't, <laughs> can't fucking. They called me on the titular Luigi's Mansion episode. <laughs> oh lordy. I don't think. Oh no, it's working. Okay. Is it working? Yeah, Facebook. I'm using, um, oh, using Facebook, Facebook caller to call him. Yeah. Why don't you just call his number? Brad isn't receiving calls right now. Okay, I'll try his actual number. <laughs> he's like, he's gonna get two phone calls from you. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be like, like, what the fuck um, happened? Who's that shit? Like, okay, I, I actually really hate this ghost. This ghost in particular is really annoying. Mm-hmm.
because the hearts only pop up like after they go like ha ha but it's really hard to keep your flashlight out of them yeah because if you do it too early they'll disappear and then like the whole thing resets yeah so it's really fucking annoying uh the spinning around thing really yeah, i know me like out. this game is not very have you ever have you ever stood on like a platform brad Put on speaker. I've reached Brad. Damn! Fuck! Clearly I'm not answering, so leave a message. Dude. Damn. Do you want to leave him a voicemail? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't do it. Okay, it's fine. I almost left him a voicemail that was like, get on fucked up, bud. Ah, <laughs> oh, whatever. That's Brad, cool. when you listen to this episode, you missed your opportunity. I yeah. Know. That was the only time you're going to be on the show. <laughs> yeah, that's the only time we're ever going to ask you to be on the show, mate. Sorry. Uh, and you fucked it up. <laughs> you fucked it up. <laughs> Oh, that God. was going to be a great bit, Bradley, but uh, you just had to be at work. Yeah, you just had to make money, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to get a call from him later and be like, what happened? For the for those who keep up with our show, this is not Brad Mendez. This is a different Brad. No, this is my friend Brad. Yeah, it gets so, very confusing. Yeah, yeah. Part of what made me realize that Cameron was the one for me is that we both had really tight friends from high school that were named Brad. Yeah, exactly. And they have, like, shockingly simple... Well, not... Uh, no, they're pretty different, actually. Yeah, yeah. We thought they were pretty similar at first, but, you know, like, you spend a lot of time with both of them and you realize that they're, they're both pretty people. different. They're yeah. both pretty different. I mean, like, they got, they got along, obviously. They're not, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. They're not, they're not hard to talk to, They're both you know? good dudes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I both kind of want to give them a little kiss. Yeah. Uh, what? You can't... You can't. That doesn't... That doesn't, I can't. that doesn't shock me at all that you want to do that. No, this oh. is not one of those oh. moments where I'm like, I thought you, Ugh. I thought you wanted to kiss them. No. Like, you're, you're not allowed to kiss. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Really, Sam? Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? <laughs> Switching from diet coke to water. Oh lordy, we've had to pause this episode twice because my mother speaks with the volume of a thousand giants when she's on the phone, and despite being in the basement, we could pick up her phone conversation. Yeah, so this is also the bulk of what's about to happen. Booze! Who's there? Who just here? Okay. Oh, oh, it's Luigi. Oh, look. Luigi's finally here. We're gonna do what you did to your brother. Only worse. <laughs> what's that on his back? It's Egas per hold you guys for 3,000. Everybody scram! Everybody scram! Yep, so the booze are in this game. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, right? They're ghosts. I remember when I played this game for the first time, I was like, I don't know why I didn't think that they would put booze in it. Because it's like the only... (laughs) It makes makes perfect sense. It's the only Mario enemy that's actually a fucking ghost. Yeah, it's it's really thematic. All right, so it's funny. He goes, I'm tickled you found them. But perhaps it would have been better if you, well, hadn't let every single one escape. <laughs> the screen wouldn't give me the controls, otherwise I would have. Yeah. Okay, Professor Egan, you don't gotta give yeah. me that fucking sass, buddy. Yeah, yeah, rude. Rude. Back to the back to the lab. Back to the lab again, yo. So blah blah blah. I don't Poor know fellers. That's a song. What? It's an Eminem song. Oh, okay. Back to the oh. lab again, yo. So I don't know. Snap they... back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. I think that's the there's same so, song. I don't something, really know. Something, something mad at me. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Everybody's mad at me. Everyone's really mad at me. I'm not give up that easy. Everyone's really mad at me. You won't give up that easy. Nope, there's no something and the beat goes on. Da dum da dum dum. What's, uh, do you have a song that you were like, are confident that you know all the lyrics to? All Star by Smash Mouth. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'll start by Smash Mouth and uh, My Shetty Amor by Stevie Wonder. I know both of those songs. Like, I don't know if I've heard the Stevie Wonder song. Probably not. It's got a really catchy... It, it, yeah, I don't think it's his most popular song, but um, I don't know. It's cute. It's a song about like a guy who's like pining after a girl who has no idea that he exists. Oh. Yeah, it's wow. really cute. Well, yeah. that's cool because that to me is like you actually like that song. Like It isn't like a popular song that you heard a lot. Yeah. It's like a song you genuinely love. Yeah, um, it's funny because like I heard it. So so, um, if I can interject just before you continue. Okay. We have a new feature. You see that little light on yeah. my Game Boy? Yeah. Now we have a boo radar. Cool. So in rooms that we've been to before and have cleared the ghosts from, there's booze hiding. Yeah. Kind of like maybe right, right here there, under this, underneath like, this little thing? dinner table, but it also might be a decoy. In this case, it was. Yeah. So. Anyways, um, so My Shitty Amour by Stevie Wonder has um like a hook in it. That goes, um... I know, I know it is called a hook, but it's like, that's so weird to think about. Yeah. Yo, the Stevie Wonder hook is lit, Yeah, dude. yeah. <laughs> it's actually a part of, like, song composing. Yeah. But he just goes, la, 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 Oh, I've heard that song la, before. La, 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 That gets sampled a lot. Yeah, um... I, I... It used to get played in my store all the time over the PA system. 
And because my store is so big, um, that was really all I ever heard. And like, it would come on and it would like, for the duration of the song, it would just drive me fucking crazy. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah. what is this annoying fucking like, la, 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 la. Mm. Like, I hated it so much. <laughs> um, but I, but I was like, you know what? This is probably a really good song. And I, I, I shazammed it one day and I was like, I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, and then I was like, oh, it's a Stevie Wonder song. So it's definitely good. Yeah. Like and like I listened to shit. it like on my phone on good headphones, like by myself. And I was like, this song is so good. Like, is it like one of your favorites you say? Probably one of my favorite songs. Yeah. Nice. I really, I really like it. Yeah. I've it's very heard, cute. I've heard that sample before. I also love that it's about this like badass woman who has no time to fall in love with a man, and he is, and like you know, Stevie's not like, oh, I'm gonna try my best to make you notice me. He's yeah. just like, I hope that one day you see me for who I am, yeah. and will give me a chance. It's very wholesome. It's oh, very that's nice. cute. Yeah. Okay, so it's not like him. It's not cre- He's not like, yeah. I followed her down <laughs> the street, and I hope she's gonna notice me because I've been stalking her for three days. It's, like, it's oh, just like, no, she oh, like. Dear. God. We both go to the same coffee shop in the morning, and it was just a happenstance. And I oh, see her so, all the time, and I'd love yeah. to take her out on a date, but she just seems too busy to notice me. It's more like a fun crush, if anything. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. It's Nothing wrong with a couple cute. fun crushes. And then All Star is All Star, like. Well, of course, it's yeah. fucking legendary. Yeah. Hey, now you're an All Star. All Star is like on. actually such a really good song, and like I love All Star memes. You know, I'm not like, oh, Shrek ruined All Star, blah blah blah. <laughs> no, but sh- I, you but kidding me? Shrek, in, Shrek in meaning it. new life to All Star. Yeah, but in well, All Star was. I think written for Shrek. Uh, that's a good. That's a good. I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't know if it was written for Shrek or if it existed around the time that Shrek was a thing, and then Smash Mouth was such a popular band that they just like wound up. They just kind of yeah, just the way it fell. But um, yeah, no, like I love Shrek and I love All Star, but like All Star is a good song, completely independent of its association with Shrek. You know, that's it funny because totally you're also like I remember one time. Get. Fucked. I was listening to this playlist. It was like an old school playlist with like a bunch of like Dre and Snoop songs on it and like some old like, you know, 90s throwbacks and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and I was really enjoying it, but they also had Mambo Number no. 5 on it, okay. which like Mambo Number no. 5 is like, it's just, it's just not a song that I really want to listen to. <laughs> you know, it's not something I put on like, oh shit, it's Mambo Number no. 5. Yeah. And I remember I was telling you about the playlist and I was like, yeah, they got Mambo Number no. 5 on here. And you were like, yeah, so what? It's a 90s throwback. Put it's, it on. Yeah. <laughs> or I guess it's more like a... Yeah, I think it's an early 2000s throwback. I think oh, it came it? out in 2000. Yeah, but regardless, it was just kind of like, okay. Yeah. Well, like, we were at a party one time in uh, university, and someone unironically started playing Eye of the Tiger. Yeah. And I'm like, we're at a party right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. And people started singing along, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nelly. Yeah, that what? was one of those times where I was really, really grateful that you were around. What a trip. Because I, I remember looking at you and you were just like, I mean, like, we, you were being polite. Of because course. you don't. I'm not going to be a unlike, dick. unlike me, you don't roll your eyes at people when you're actually literally displeased by them. No, I wait till later to talk about it on my show. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I remember looking at you and you were just, and you looked at me and you were just like, nah, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's like, let, let's, we'll stay here for another I half know. an hour. It's, it's, it's fine. And we'll go home. Yeah. All right, we're going to go to the bathroom. And wash our faces. Okay. And then we're gonna go next time. Okay. Oop. Ah! You're gonna wash So many your, fucking ghosts! You're gonna wash your face in this, yeah. in this bathroom right this now? This door was locked Are before. Are you dirty? Maybe. Okay. Professor Egad was like, just go wash your face, idiot. Gross. I really, I threw a really important thing into the toilet. Uh-huh. I didn't mean to. I goodbye. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye, Toad, you fucking idiot. Hey, you're right. No point crying over spilt milk. I suppose I'll just flush that old worry away. Yep, I'll just let it swirl on down to the depths and let happiness refill my life. You're a weird guy, Toad. Uh, You're weird. Yeah. You also threw a key down here. Wow. Which is, a, which is um, I just, don't know, uh, super not important. Not at all okay to throw down the toilet. Moron. Well, next time, I think that's where we're going, Sam. All right. Yeah. To the washroom. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>